So hey guys, um, today's video is going to be about a couple things that I recently bought and my, um, my view on them. I've been using some of them for a couple days now and I definitely like a couple of the things. Some of them I just bought yesterday so I can't even tell you like a few, a full review but I can tell you my initial review. So... <clears throat> Everything that I'm going to say today is what I have on right now. So first I started with a primer, of course. I used the Ruby Kisses Eyeshadow Primer. And I got this like at my beauty supply store for like 7 bucks. It wasn't that expensive. And this is what I have all over my lid. This has been really good because... My eyeshadow doesn't seem to want to come off at night when I want to take off my makeup, so this obviously works. Um, today, I am using Clarine's Lissy Minute Instant Smooth under my you can see that under my eyes because I have like um, wrinkles under my eyes, so I wanted to fill in my pores and fine lines. So this is what I'm using today. This is. Something I gotten for free a long time ago, but I never used, so I figured I'd use it today. And it actually fills in my lines really, really great, so I actually like that. Um, I don't know where you could get this, but I could find out for you and put it in the um, description bar. Um, I also have the MAC Studio Finish Color Skin Corrector in orange. I know there's like a little glow but I put that underneath my eyes to color correct because I have dark circles as most of you guys know so I use this this was like about 18 bucks at Macy's um it actually does color correct it does what it says it's a bit um drying so obviously make sure you have on a primer underneath it but other than that I think it's pretty good so I also I don't have on a foundation today I have on a BB cream and in my past video, you guys know that I was trying to find uh, an inexpensive foundation and concealer. And I've actually found them, finally. So this is what I have on today. The Aqua BB Cream Kiss in medium dark. Um, it says it evens out skin tone, covers and conceals, brightens and nourishes. And it actually does. I use this every single day. Um, it's super quick to put on. I don't even really need concealer with it, but I choose to, so it's up to you if you don't want to. Um, you could find this at your beauty supply store for just like six bucks. It's not that expensive at all. So the concealer that I've been using, I feel super late to this, but I've been using the LA Girl Pro Concealer. And I think this is in Tofi. You can see that. Um... I've been using this every day so far. I've been trying to figure out ways to really wear it because it's it's an interesting consistency. It comes like this. It's, it's pretty, it's a liquid one obviously, but it's an interesting consistency. So it's kind of, I've been trying to learn how to blend and how to make it work um, in my fine lines and my wrinkles. So I've been trying to figure that out. But other than that, I think this is pretty good. Um... The brushes that I've been using that are super inexpensive and I feel like are really high quality brushes that helps me blend both my concealer and my BB cream are first my concealer brush. It's airbrush concealer is by Echo Tools. And it looks like like that. This is a concealer brush. This is a really good concealer brush it's really good it gets you know where you need to um to conceal this was like six bucks at Ulta that, that's my new favorite store um then to apply my BB cream I use Real Techniques by Samantha Chapman um expert face brush so I don't think you could see that it's okay it's the expert um face brush and what you do is you put the product behind your hand dab it and then you kind of like buff it in like it's a really good brush this was I think eight bucks again at Alta and the last brush that I use not 
as much, but I'm definitely using it, is the setting brush by Real Techniques again. And this is what it looks like. So you dip it into your powder, and then you set your um, under eye concealer or anything that you want. So that's what I've been um, using, new products that are inexpensive that I've been using. Um, to set my um, concealer, I've been trying something new and I'm still trying to figure out how to use it, is the Ben Nye Banana Powder. Yes, everyone talks about it. Um, I never really liked the brightening under eye look, but as of lately, I've been liking it and I'm hoping that I look good with it. I don't know. So, um, this was 10 bucks? I don't remember. But it's, it's sold only online, so that's not accessible, like, quick if you wanted to try it out. But so far, it's pretty good. I don't notice any creasings or anything so, so far so good um the eyeshadows that i have on today are super super pretty you can see it it's super pretty it kind of looks this is debatable but it could be a dupe for the urban decay naked um three palette which is like 52 dollars for 12 colors um, this is the NYX Love in Paris Let Them Eat Cake, and it's nine colors for $7.99. I like that price, and obviously the colors are pretty similar, like a little pinkish color, like, it's pretty similar, and I would say that I would rather pay, I don't know, I would rather pay $7.99 for colors that are similar. And I know they're similar because I was in Alta yesterday and I had this palette and I went to the Naked 3 palette and I mashed it up. They have it where you could swap the um, the colors now and like swap, swap it on your skin or whatever. The colors are the same. Like why am I going to pay $52 for similar colors? And obviously it's, it's a really good um, palette. Like, obviously, it it shows. Like, it's a really nice palette. So, this is what I just bought. And, obviously, I can't tell you, like, oh, it's amazing. Because I just, just used it just now. But, obviously, if you look at the makeup, it looks fantastic. So, okay. <laughs> um, Another thing that I bought yesterday was an NYX Wonder Pencil in dark. It says it could be a concealer, eye brightener, and reverse lip liner in one. I don't... I don't know what that means, but this is what it is. I have that obviously to brighten my under eye, give like a brightened look, and I like it. I just I just used it today, just a regular you know pencil, but I like it. Nothing it does. It's it's a simple product, but I just want to obviously this is a haul to show you my new things, inexpensive things. So I decided to show you. Um, this is a random product but I got it for free at Ulta because it was my birthday recently it is the Calvin Klein one mascara and I guess it's a pretty interesting um, mascara it's like a really big tube but it's interesting you're not gonna really see it because it's really subtle but when you move this it moves to give you it's really subtle. Whatever. It's subtle, but it moves. It's to let you get, like, into your lashes. Like, seriously. So that's what I have on right now. I like it. It's a really big wand, though. Like, it's really big, but <laughs> I like it. I think, I think it's pretty good. And the fact that it was free, I don't know how much it is, really. But it's Calvin Klein, so I would imagine that it's really expensive because it is um, 18 bucks. Um, what am I saying? 18 bucks because <laughs> it is Calvin Klein. So, um, so yeah, that's all my new stuff that I've recently been buying. Um, uh, that's it. If you have any questions, anything you think I should try, definitely tell me. But that is it for today, guys. Stay beautiful.